Ladies and gentlemen, this is TVP World. You're watching another edition of Military Mind, bringing you news from the front lines. I'm your host, Benjamin Lee. Overnight, Ukraine's Air Force said that it has shot down 27 out of 44 drones launched by Russia. Attacks have caused fires and injured at least five people across the country. Lviv Regional Authority said drone debris fell in an industrial zone, setting fire to four trucks. No casualties or injuries were reported. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces recently advanced in the southeastern area of the Kursk region. Key forces also carried out operations south of Spalnoye, and additionally, Russian forces are operating northwest of Suja. The Russian military of defense claimed that Ukrainian forces continued attacking in the Korenmevo and Suja sectors. Additionally, Ukraine's top military commander has defended Kyiv's incursion into Russia's Kursk region, claiming that it deterred Russia from advancing on a key area of the eastern front of Ukraine. General Alexander Sersky recently told CNN that the offensive had been effective and the strategy was working. He claimed that over the past six days, the Russian forces haven't advanced a single meter in the Pokorov sector. Sersky stated, We've taken away their ability to maneuver and to deploy their reinforcement forces from other directions, and this weakening has definitely been filled in other areas. Also, Russian forces are conducting relatively intensified offensive operations elsewhere southwest and west of Donetsk City. Intensified Russian efforts to exploit gains in the Pokorov's direction and Russian redeployments in response to the Ukrainian incursion into the Kursk region have yet to disrupt the Russian offensive temple west and southwest of the Donetsk City. Continued large and costly Moscow mechanized assaults suggest that the Russian military command has taken elements of both the eastern and southern grouping of forces in the area with a wider operational objective. Russian forces intensified offensive operations near Volodar shortly after starting to widen the southern flank of Pokorovs, suggesting that the Russian forces intend to conduct mutually reinforcing offensive operations along its southern flank. Our Russian forces have reportedly advanced to the outskirts of Hirnyek, and the seizure of these towns would allow Russian forces to assault Kurahove, a significant Ukrainian defensive node for the front west and the southwest of the Donetsk city. Russians continue to hit Ukrainian cities with drones and rocket attacks every day and every night. But Ukrainian forces are trying to repel such attacks. Now let's take a look at the Ukrainian soldiers from the 4th Brigade of Operational Assignment and how they shot down shared drones in the Kyiv region of Ukraine. Hey. It's a known fact that Russian soldiers love to steal everything everywhere that's not bolted down. Now, Let's show you one of these soldiers. Here's a Russian running from a drone, but then decided to take it with him. He probably didn't even know what a war drone looks like, so let's take a look at this clever guy who deserves a Darwin Award. On a program, we recently showed you Ukrainian FPV drone strikes with termite warheads. Now we got even more footage of such drone strikes. See them rain down fire on Russian positions.
Soldiers of the 12th Azov Brigade are fighting in the Ukrainian city of New York and the surrounding areas, together with adjacent units. Thanks to the involvement of the brigade in this direction, it was possible to reclaim part of New York from Russian control and unblock Ukrainian soldiers who were previously surrounded. At the moment, the situation remains tense in the city of New York. Every day, the Russians conducted up to 15 assaults in the Azov Brigade's area of responsibility, but despite the extremely difficult circumstances, Ukrainian fighters are holding their positions and successfully counterattacking. With that footage, we conclude this edition of Military Mind. But for more news, update, and commentary, please stay tuned to TVP World.